Mic check, mic check. Morning Masters podcast, your host main of course. Uh, let me get right, let me get right. I can't get right on here. All right. Am I right? My posture right? Yeah, I think we good. Level's good, level's good. Level's good, level's good, level's good. Mic, 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 mic. A little bit more. All right, mic check, mic check. Morning Masters podcast, your host main of course. Um, this kind of like a special edition type of thing. Not even special edition, but just something different. Um, not ne- necessarily topic based, but I want to talk to y'all about uh, a podcast that I was on, uh, I was a guest on uh, yesterday. It should be coming out sometime this week. I don't know. I don't know the turnaround time. I don't know everybody podcast turnaround time is different. Uh, so, but I do want to talk about it. The experience I had. Um, I told uh, the creator of the podcast that I would uh, also give some pros and cons, but you know, whatever, just some feedback to him. Um, we did give a lot of feedback last night. I stayed there for quite some time, so uh, I wanted to kind of jump right into that, honestly. Uh, but first and foremost. Shout out to all the listeners, supporters. If you're watching this now, um, if you want to know about that, I'll put a link to that person's YouTube and and, and what they're doing, um, their pages that you can find them at, how you can get in contact with them in my description, whether it's going on YouTube or Facebook, I'm not sure yet. Uh, but yeah, so I want to get straight into it, right? So uh, I've been, you know, I've been podcasting for some time now. I know, I know it's always a debate, well, I don't debate, but it's always a uh, a question whether whether who was first, who was this, and I think we touched on it briefly on on his platform as well. I I don't care about you know somebody saying it was first, is that and third. All I know is that uh, when I first started doing podcasting, um, it was to a point where you had to define what a podcast was, and the definition at the time was only an audio file. Like literally, that's the only definition was an audio file. If you remember correctly, a while back uh, I made a I made a of thinking out loud and I spoke and I put a clip out of algorithms and me wanting to know the definition of it in in, in, in a certain time. That derived from me thinking about the, the term podcasting and how in 2016, when I started, uh, the the definition was an audio file. I haven't looked up the definition since then because I don't feel like it matters. I just know it changed. <laughs> you know what I'm I know it changed because I know podcasting has changed. I know that the way we receive podcasts and, and, and demand for it has changed. So with that comes elevation. So I'm pretty sure the definition didn't elevate it since then. Um, but the thing was, like I said, I didn't have no go-to, you know, nobody to, to, to get some game from, to have a guest on and, you know, give me some insight. You know, I didn't have that. So uh, that's why I always be like just one of the first. I don't care. You could say Joe Blow was the first. It's, it don't matter to me. What, what matters is, not who did it first, but uh, who do it? Who did it right, and who's doing it the correct way, and uh, who who's who's able to lead the people as far as to uh, continue to do this podcasting thing the correct way? Because it's an art at the end of the day. It's an art, and you don't want it to get uh, oversaturated like like uh, like many other art forms do. Um, with that being said, you know we spoke about that. I want to I want to start from the beginning. So you know I got there. Um, a dope setup, you know, um, uh, amazing bathroom, by the way. They said, <laughs> I went to the bathroom, they said, uh, hey, man, it's, it's a big bathroom. They got, like, a sofa in there. Like, you, if you had a guest with you, they could sit in there with you. I'm like, oh, okay, you know, whatever that means. Uh, that was dope, though. Um, I, I I felt, uh, what's the word? Ah, uh, that's a word. It's on the tip of my tongue. I can't think of it right now, man. But I, in the moment, right, in the, in the moment, it was more nostalgic, I felt so like a little nostalgic, a little bit in a sense, because uh, with us being with it being four guests, and I think they were trying to do a new system, and I instantly remember trying to do new systems and how hard that is when you have a guest that you want to make sure you don't miss. You don't want to miss the audio, the video, the visual, the questions, the vibe. You want you don't want to miss on any points of your 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 metrics for your podcast and how you grade yourself on whether it's a hit or miss for your podcast, right? And I start thinking, I'm looking at them and I'm and I'm seeing all of them do different things. You got one person trying to set the mics up and making sure that's right. They stay they say sound check and it's not working. Then you got one guy just trying to keep me company and making sure that I'm not getting, you know, uh, uh, uh anti or like, damn, you said they dirty and it's now XYZ, you know. But I, I felt that I liked that. I did like that. I like the professionalism there in that sense. I like the fact that they continue to be like, oh, I'm sorry, you know, I know you get you you're on short time. I told them I'm not on short time. When I do something for people, in, in that in that in that in that field, especially in the podcasting way, I want to make sure it's done right. So when I'm doing it, I'm and I, even though I'm a guest, I'm, I'm spectating and I'm going to give you 
pointers, whether I, things I like that you did that I wish I can do, or you know, vice versa, thing that you can work on that I know that you know I can help uh, help you do, help you work on. So uh, that was that was I didn't think that part bothered was bothersome. Um, I posted stuff on my snap, and people on my snap were saying like, "Oh, you look over it," but I'm not gonna lie, like I, I am a punctual person, so when it comes to punctuality, uh, typically, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, like my face will show things. But I'll be cool. Like, I still be cool. I like the pod. I'll be cool. Like I'll be cool. I'm not working retail right now, so when an associate comes to work late or you know is it late on a regular basis, I'm gonna be away. But when they get there, we got work to do, right? So it's one of them things. Like you know, it's cool. We we gonna rock out. I'm professional. They professional. We gonna rock out. And I, and I was excited to be there. Oh yeah, I done spilled some. Humsy man. Um. So with that being said. Uh, we get into the podcast, and it started out with them, uh, you know, he told me this was going to be the thing, but paying homage, which, I, I, don't get me wrong, like, I love it, I love I love it, right? But I, I, I try to stay grounded, really grounded. So, I love the kudos that I get from whoever, all the people, I love it. Don't get me wrong, like, you know, I'm not saying don't do it or do it, but make my mind work, like, I, I'm I'm grounded to, to a T, so... I need to feel like there's something more I can get to continue going. So I continue to work against myself a lot every each episode, each thinking out loud. Even now, I'm trying to do this without flustering too many words or talking a certain tone, certain turn. So talking in a certain speed to project. So I'm trying to get better in different arenas, different realms of uh, this podcast, uh, this podcast, this podcast uh, thing, right? Uh, so. When they was giving me pointers, and honestly, like I said, uh, it's, it's 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 there was three three hosts. Well, I guess one. It's 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 Mario's show, and I think he has two co-hosts. If I'm not if I'm correct, he had a producer in there as well. Uh, you could say two producers in there, I guess, right as well. So the room was pretty pretty uh pretty pretty crowded, and uh, I I, I like that everybody knew their job. Everybody knew whose job was what. So I like that from the jump. Um, they had uh, some form of structure. I'm big on structure. I'm not I'm not crazy about just turning the camera on and going like, thing I allows is fine, but even in this right here, in this arena that I'm doing this, um, I normally know exactly what I want to tackle. I normally didn't have thoughts in my mind. I might not write nothing down, but I got these thoughts kind of uh, conforming in my mind. So by the time I sit here and get the microphone set up and the lights and everything, and it's go time. It's time to entertain. It's time to educate. It's time to to, to vent and, and just and just and just speak. I like the topics that we talked about uh, in the beginning. Just you know, like I said, paying homage thing. Uh, hearing them talk about me and me not knowing all the people in that room, but people talking as if they've been following me for a while. Uh, that was that was great. That was good to hear. It meant a lot. Um, I, hearing words like "yo, yo," for us, you know, you the standard. That's amazing. Like I, I, I'm not gonna lie. That was one part I was like, "Damn," you know. Like I said, I'm grounded, so you try not, and I'm humble, and you try not to, to take things, uh, to the head and, and just get the big head and stuff like that. But to know how much time I spent, and and and, and spend, you know, even to this day, how much time I dedicated, how much time I dedicate to what I'm doing and trying to, you know, perfect the craft, to hear somebody say, like, yo, to us, you know, you're the standard, that meant a lot. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, so even just that alone, like, the podcast could have could have went bad from there on down. Like, that part would have just been, like, right here. You know what I'm saying? I, I appreciated that because these people that don't know me don't have to say that. Like, I met some of these people for the first time yesterday, like, in person. Might be friends on Facebook, might share each other stuff, you know, you never know. But as far as like meeting and knowing, that was my first time. So, um, and the question, they had good questions, you know, just real good question that involved around podcasting for the first uh, quarter of the show that, that they did where they talked to me. But this show is called Opinionated as Fuck. Um, so the show was really just about, you know, it's opinion based, you know, it's, it's, it's what it is, it's opinion based. So, I knew at some point we'd get into whatever, and I told him I said, you know, and I really don't do this for anybody. I don't, I don't go into any other body, anybody else's uh, platform or podcast or whatever show. 
I don't go to nobody else's uh, place of, of platform and be like, oh, it's whatever you want to talk about. I don't I do not do that. I need to know sometimes because people people that put you in some rough spots, you know what I'm saying? And I'm big on, on your name is your name. So, But for this one, I was like, nah, you know. I know it's different. It's, it's, out, it's, out, of my, it's out of my element as far as um, I don't hang out in rooms where um, people are smoking too much. I don't smoke or drink. Um, I'm from that. Um, I'm from that. Like people around me that have done that, and they do that. I just don't put myself there. Like I'll, I'm the one to get out the room. I'll go outside. I'll do something different rather than being that being that space. But like I told him, I said, whatever y'all do is y'all do. I'm just y'all show. I'm just coming to be a guest. And now I, I meant that. So to be in that arena, talk about some of the things we talked about. It's not stuff I would normally talk about on a regular basis, like spend that much time on. But it was dope to do it. Um, in somebody else's platform and just being a guest there. So that was amazing. Um, I thought that, uh, so far as like I get into the, the sh- I ain't gonna get too much into the show. The show was amazing. Like, I, I liked it. Uh, and I, and I, and give them kudos for, 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 for being professional. Um, what I did like was, like I said, everybody knew their role. When you have a show or a podcast or anything, when it's multiple people involved, everybody hand in a jar, that can be a recipe for disaster a lot of times, man. And I felt like me, me watching and seeing what I saw, where don't get me wrong, was it flawless? To, no, nobody's flawless. You know, it takes a long time to get flawless. You got to do this for years and years and years to really have a flawless execution. When you think about different opinions, different personalities, and topics, and and, and feelings, and and, and, and tones, and and, and 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 etiquette of conversation, for it to be flawless, you got to have that down packed for a while, right? So no, it wasn't flawless, but what I did like was this person was able to go, that person was able to go. Then after a while, we get into the actual nitty gritty conversation. You know, the the the, the, the A mic, you know, Felix Mario, the A mic, he gets to you know, and if you talking, he cut you off. You kind of got to let him rock. And I, I like the fact that because these other co-hosts have their own, their own podcast, their own show as well. Um, I know that because of my research. You know, they got their own show and stuff as well. And I think that it was dope that they knew that this particular podcast was his. So naturally when he cut him off, they didn't get mad. They didn't they just kind of stopped. It was like it wasn't it wasn't flawless. Like it wasn't flawless. But you can see them battling for who gonna let the mic go. And normally the A mic won every time. So the pro and con to that is uh the pro is that his team they're all aware of their position they play for that particular podcast. Now I have to see the other podcast and see if it's um, reciprocated in other ways. But for that particular podcast, they on they on cue. They know that okay, this is his show, so I'm letting him rock out cool. Because he cut he cut people off a lot throughout the whole throughout the whole episode. But that's my guy. Um, it kind you know what it felt like, and I don't know because they. So one thing they said to me, they said you know hey it was like you know we look at you like and no disrespect. And they made sure they said that at first, like, no disrespect, but we look at you like Vlad TV. I don't take that in disrespect because regardless of what anybody's mindset, idea, or how they feel about Vlad, when you think about the product and the co- type of content, the level of the, 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 the content he's putting out and how it looks, how it sounds, how it's pieced together, it's great A. It's great A. I don't care how you feel about Vlad personally, his line of questioning, whatever, it's great A content, it's great A product. So I got that point. That's that's I think that's what I took from at least. I don't think he was saying like, you know, you talking about something you shouldn't talk about or you be, you know, asking questions, and getting locked up. I don't think that was the case. I think it was purely just I think it was purely just, you know, hey, you got great A content. So we look at you as like that. The standard, right? Cause Vlad is kind of the standard for a lot of things in media. I don't care how you look at him, he's the standard. Okay. So um I say that to say, I would, this is me personally, I would compare Based on how I felt in the room and how I, I, my visual my vis, my visualization of the podcast in my eyes right now before I see it on camera, I would say they reminded me. It reminded me rather of Drink Champs. One, it was people. It was he was drinking. You know, it was drinks involved. Um, but it was a room. Um, even if you didn't have a mic, you had a voice in a room. So that was I like that. Like it's it's really whatever's in the room, whatever the vibe is in the room. That's the vibe. You had the producer. Um, the pro- uh, there's two producers over there, but one for their show, and then one just make beats and stuff. But he's sometimes be on the show too. Shout out to him. I think his name's AD. You have him in the background, 
and they're projecting, they're talking, they're adding to the conversation as well, which I've seen them on multiple podcasts that they've done. And uh, that vibe was good. That's a good vibe. Like, it's a good vibe. Um, but to the point of the A mic, you know, uh, like I said, it's a pro and con to that stuff. So the pro is like everybody on the team knows they place. They know what position they hold. They know how to jump in, how to step back, how to let you have it, how to, you know, challenge you. Uh, I would say that, but you you got to share the floor a little bit more, you know, share the floor because I feel like sometimes your co will have such a dope take on something that it'll take that conversation somewhere higher. Like, you might, like, don't get wrong, a conversation starts here. A combo starts here, right? Move up, move up, move up. But sometimes that one take and just take it, like, way up here to where, like, damn, okay, this is where we can, this is where we at now. But you, you, you know, you, 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 tr- you strip the, the, the podcast of that uh, elevation if you continuously cut everybody off. But that come with growth, that come with listening back, and that come with um, still studying, studying other platforms. I watch other podcasts a lot, even if I don't care how high they are, low they are. Like, I watch everybody podcasts to kind of, to kind of, uh, you know, learn and just say, okay, I like that they did that. that, was, that I want to try that, you know. I like that approach. I want to try that real quick. Or I don't like that. Damn, I do that sometimes. Does that is that how it come off? Let me let me stop doing that. So I think that's a learning curve, uh, just for the podcast sake. Uh, but I think I mentioned a uh, a term on that podcast, right? I mentioned the term on it. And I I titled it. Um, I said a podcast is really uh, nothing but a uh, organized conversation. And I agree with that. I think a lot of times you see these clips, you see podcasts, and you, these are professional people talking, but it's organized. You got a group chat, you know, you got a pre production where y- y- y'all are talking like, hey, we're going to talk about this. We're going to lead into this. We're going to lead into this. We're going to, it's not just one person like, okay. It's the, and, they, they, and, they, and they say an a, a idea, and it's like, oh, that's a segue. No, it's, it's really a segue for real. A segue is planned most times, it's, it's a plan take or a group of words or a phrase that you're going to get y'all to go into the next topic, right? Or to elevate. It could just be elevation. That combo started here, and you elevating it right here. So those are needed um, to have that organized conversation. Um, our conversation was somewhat organized. Like I said, I podcast, so some things like I'm, I'm a no. So I think at one point we started talking, and then a peanut started, started to get thrown around. We started to question a lot of things, challenge a lot of things. And in the midst of that, you can forget the actual topic at hand. I think it was defining what snitching was. So we had talked, and as you know, 15 minutes go by, and we get to a common understanding of some of one point, but we ain't we ain't we ain't never defined the actual term. So me being who I am, I say, oh, I, I'm glad we got to that point, but now let's let's go back to defining it. All right. Do what you need your 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 your, your B mics for, your, your producer for. Um, you need to be cognizant of that as, as an A mic. Okay, we talking, we having conversation, it's going good. I'm getting my shit off, they're getting their shit off. But are we are we hitting the topics? Are we hitting this topic? Are, is our conversation still organized or are we just going off the grid? Mind you, most people like going off the grid. And that's fine. Like if there's something you're into, cool. I'm just giving pointers back to what podcasting like I like and just uh, my take on it. You know, like this is just my take. I don't want I'm not saying that anything I'm saying here needs to be taken uh with 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 great measures is just my thoughts right um am i sure by the way don't like rappers um yeah just a shirt but yeah um which is another thing too like you know the respect level was high in there too you got a rapper there and he didn't he didn't like trip about the shirt he didn't uh, ask me about it he didn't i, I for one i, I think one thing I said about this shirt, I say about me, like statements I make, like I don't like rappers. I feel like as a rapper, um, if you're highly confident in yourself and, and what you are and what you're about, you know when something's about you or for you or not for you. So me wearing this, uh, do I like? I love rap. I don't like rappers, but I love rap. But the kind of rappers I don't like, I've talked about it plenty of times. And I think people that, people know what, what criteria they fall under when it comes to what kind of rapper they are, you know? Whether you, you know, a real rapper, or a rapper who just a rapper and you just write on paper and whatever. Um, 
But all in all, like I said, the podcast was dope. I think that uh, they got a good good product on their hands. Uh, I, I think I book, I'm booked for the, to do the co-hosts have their own podcast as well. So I think I'm booked for that. So I'll do that one as well. Um, and anybody that's watching, if you got a podcast and you want me to come on, hit me up first. I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm just going to do everybody's podcast. That's not the case. But hit me up. Let's uh, get a rapport going on. You know, let's 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 rap and let's talk about some things. Um, but to end or not to end, but just to kind of bring it to to close, um, podcast. Why? I like so pros and pros and cons from but my takeaways from you know doing uh, opinionated as fuck was um, the show is very opinionated. You know, what I'm saying it's his show, so he's the most opinionated one on the show. Um, I think that the show was a was very. Uh, it mirrored the title. Um, it being opinionated as fuck because I think that we didn't get through, we didn't really get through through the topic, but we talked a lot, and it was opinion based. If that makes sense, so I like that. Um, I have to see it back on camera to see how it really is. When you're in the moment, sometimes you're just in the moment. A lot of was going on in the room though. You a lot of voices, so sometimes you see me just like draw back. Cause in a podcaster, I'm. I'm known to just, I like, to, I, like, I like to get the floor. Some of my best podcasts, I'm saying the least amount of words. Why? Because I like to paint stories through people. If I have a guest on, I'm painting a story through them. That's just me, though. I podcast by painting, painting pictures with words and questions and conversation. That's just how I look at things. Everybody, don't, we're not going to post, not going to approach podcasts the same way. So I'm well okay with somebody saying, like, no, not me. I do this. That is perfectly fine. I'm not going to. Shane the wife for that. That's my what I do. So with, with that being said, though, a lot of times you'll hear my guests speak more than I speak because I'm painting pictures through them. I'm listening, then I'm talking. I'm writing notes. I'm listening, then I'm talking. I'm writing notes. Um, that's just me, though. That's my level of podcast is what I like to do. Uh, with, with their podcast, though, entertaining as hell. I laughed a lot. I had a good time. Um, from what they were saying, like, you know, uh, me being there, the presence is just a little different as far as how they approached it. Because um, we all do this, you know. This is something we do, and I, and I take it, I take it very serious. Like I take it super serious. So I have been thinking about this podcast all day. I'm not somebody that just come to the studio and just go start going. No, I'm thinking about it from the minute I wake up to the time I get to the studio during the setup, at the light going on. Right now, I'm thinking about it. You know, I'm thinking about everything. So uh, my approach is a little different than the average uh, podcasters, I guess. Approach. We mentioned. Uh, my 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 post about you know not wanting to talk about or not wanting to say I was a podcaster. I'll say that for the for the for the show. I want to say that my take on that for the show. So y'all go watch the show. Oh no, a good show though, man. Um, like I said, the cons I would say it's just mainly just, it's just growth. It's growth. You learn through growth. Watching back, uh, studying. Um, maybe like I said it's like drink champs. I don't know if you're drinking too much. I can't even say he drunk too much or not. I don't know. Um. I, I have to watch it back to see that. Because when you're in the moment, like I said, you're in the moment. Um, but just 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 the conversation piece. You want to make sure the conversation is organized. I think in the midst of podcasting, sometimes we forget that it's an actual conversation. So sometimes you have to, and I do I do this in life anyway, sometimes you have to uh, put being right on the back burner in order for the conversation to go smooth. Oh, I'm sorry. In order for the conversation to be a conversation, because if you're just trying to prove you're right, and it's not a conversation, it's just you proving you're right. Now, in the midst of the cameras, the microphones, all that stuff, it's easily to, it's easy to get distracted and think, "Oh no, this is what." I, let me first tell you what I mean by that. A lot of times, you don't need to do that. Trust me, if you got seven people in the room, you say a take, one person challenges that, maybe. It, one or other five or six people understand what you're saying. So also thinking about this is a show. So people watching the show probably understand what you're saying. If you spend a lot of the show trying to prove to that one or two people who challenge you know, your take or your opinion that you're right, just know you're taking from the show sometime because now all your time has been trying to prove them two in a room right when the show is for the audience. The room is a room. The show for the audience. So I would say that that's probably the only thing I would take from that as far as like constructive criticism I can give is realize that the audience is really in post production. The audience is home. Um, I wouldn't spend too much time trying to prove to one or two guests in the room what I mean 
I would hope that the people that's watching understand what I mean. And then that's how you create dialogue. You create a fan base. You create a following because now you can have that conversation you have between that one and two uh, people who challenge you on camera. You can have that off camera in the comment section or via text or via email or on a phone call about the show. And you can get your constructive criticism that way. And then also you can bring it back later on like, hey, I got a call, I got a comment about this, let me read this back, and then you get the fans to watch the show or listeners to watch the show more because now you're engaging them by adding them to the conversation, adding them to the podcast. So that's what I would give them. Um, I had to see the vi video back on film to see it, the editing, the lighting and stuff, but like I said, they took it super serious. I liked them. Um, they cared. The the, the the amount of mic checks we did was, was, was outrageous, but I understood it because I've been there before. So I know how it feels to want to get something right and make sure it's right. I know how it feels to trying to change stuff up last minute and it ain't working. So now, now you got to go back to the old way, but you didn't have that initially set in mind. Podcasting, especially independent podcasting, is super tough. It's no extra mics nowhere. It's no extra equipment nowhere. It's no extra this. If it's a short, you got to find a plan for it right then and there. And they had to do that. They had to find a plan for a short right then and there. So I respected that. I respected the grind. I respected the the, the approach to the, to the to the podcast. I respect, I respected the... The studying that they are doing, um, I, I talked to a few of the co-hosts in the, in the show, and them telling me how they studied and you know the things they looked at, whether they took it from me or took it from another podcast, amazing. So uh, with that being said, man, make sure y'all go follow Opinionated as Fuck on Facebook, on YouTube. I'm put the I'm put the link in the comments. I don't know when that episode will drop. I am not a part of the the the, the post production in there. I was just a guest. I hopefully you drop soon. That'd be nice. Uh, but this one drops soon. But hopefully it does drop soon. Um, shout out to y'all. I will definitely be there next week, and I think to do another episode with. Um, I think the podcast is called Accountability. Something about accountability. I don't know. What I'm, talking about. I'm not gonna lie. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, something about accountability. But they got a dope network over there. A dope producers over there. A dope team over there. Y'all are amazing. Um, I will say this and ending not to diss nobody, but. I just can't do teams. That's just me. I, I have to do it alone, and I see why. It's a lot of opinions, a lot of um, a lot of personalities, a lot of whew, a lot of a lot in the room, right? So God bless y'all for being able to work as a team and get that taken care of. Cause y'all did amazing, man. So shout out to y'all, man. More massive podcast. We out. Go check out the podcast. Like, subscribe, comment, share this. We out.